welcome back everyone and welcome to my channel good to talk to you once again yeah I'm not quite dead yet but guys I really felt um, horrible bad and uh, kind of a uh, sick I feel a little bit better today but uh, the the weekend was very rough for me um, you know I was sick and ill and I had a really bad flu and sorry guys I could not uh, make any content but guys you know, for a while I did promise you a um, video about the kitchen. I was remodeling the our entire kitchen and I'm th thinking to make a very good looking interesting um, vlog or uh, video about our new kitchen and that will be probably the next one so stay tuned for the next video. We have a huge pleasure to watch this awesome captain from uh, uh, EU server and this ladies and gents is of course uh, shudders Sh shudders shards it's a domination mode and the first opening uh, shells are to this republic 7800 mm, two over pen only one pen and one non pen so everyone it's uh, you know tier 10 in this match and the captain's name is Laser Hydra. It's from EU server. Now, the Yamato. I did not feature this ship for a long, long, long time. Um, she's a good ship, don't get me wrong. You have to make those counts. The Montana, it's, it's extremely passive. You see, versus Yamato, even, even the probably the Henry will feel you see how much lead he had to um, gain because remember I, um, Henry it's really really done fast ship oh lord yeah I believe guys the Henry the fourth um, it's not what you used to be it's too big large uh, easy to hit Sure, she does have speed, but no more agile. You cannot turn left and right. Um, the the rudder of the Henry's today's nerfed Henry. It's painfully bad, and I very see very few p p players ever played the Henry. And remember, it used to be one hell of a popular cruiser. Not so much today, guys. Not so much today. So, very nasty opening fire to that uh, Henry, unfortunately. Of those 48,000, more than 40,000 was from that cruiser's salvo alone. Republic, it's very far away. I don't know, she's a quarter speed or something. Yeah, managed to dodge everything. I do honestly, okay, this is bad for Montana really really darn bad once the enemy montana open fire yeah she opened fire and she's almost um, staying still now goliath did go down by the enemy uh, montana <coughs> That's the also big problem with uh, Goliath and all this uh, nonsense bullshit line. I believe, guys, without saying too much, that the French Henry and Goliath, it's one of those two worst cruisers at tier 10. I cannot come up with one good thing to say about those two lines, the Henry IV and the Goliath. Um, they do fulfill the role of uh, juicy battleships to aiming and blap them for days. Now on the other hand, the, the same story is with Montana. If you're showing it to your broadside to uh, Yamato, that's a paddling. I do honestly believe this Henry the Fourth did not... Um, less Now he is somehow angled. Don't get me wrong, but Yamato's uh, Sigma and uh, everything else, it's pretty damn. Yeah, oh man, I have no idea this, you see. <laughs> and then going down, Thunder just blap her. 
Uh, I believe the Yamato and Thunder's guns are the most accurate guns at tier 10, guys. I'm not lying what I'm saying right now. Absolutely deadly, deadly, deadly uh, accuracy. He received extremely little da uh, damage, this captain. I have no idea why the enemy are, are you know, playing like uh, tier 5's captains for crying out loud. Uh, you, I mean, sure, this is kind of uh, somehow angled, but versus Yamato's shells, I mean, uh, seriously, if you're that Montana or that Republic, man, you have to do something a little bit better. Uh, that angle will not help you enough. That's the problem, you know what I mean? Okay, Shimankaze, it's 9.1. That could be uh, dangerous. Okay, now he received literally one one of the first hits and that also it is something you know from the republic not a whole lot to be honest with you i mean uh, republic used to be uh, have this uh, rail guns hard hitting and a very fast um rate of fire but also the shells you know but ah, six thousand it is but versus yamato not a whole lot guys to be able to hurt a Yamato real darn bad, you need to some <laughs> small and one over pen and one pen only. <coughs> but I do believe the uh, small ends run out of the smoke or something. Okay. The reload, uh, the guns reloads in just a couple more seconds. Yeah, it's the friendly. Okay, one it there. Very good, very good. I do believe now he's very low HP. That's Smolensk. Uh, uh, yeah, the enemy CV did a great job to spot that. Smolensk and uh, Smolensk, it's no more, right? No, he is no more. Smolensk is gone. I'm wondering who had killed him. I did not pay attention. I now believe he's going to town to this Republic and also Montana. 4,000. Oh man, that was only one shells only. <clears throat> now the Republic's captain was actually trying to turn left and right. Okay, someone is firing with HE. Hmm. Very interesting salvo, this one. 11,000 only okay it was uh, three pen ah man that republic seriously but uh, he has to do something this captain because the thunder might actually go down versus those two tier 10 battleship the republic and the montana Okay, that was a robbed man. What kind of a salvo was that? And uh, the thunder is also in the Republic secondary range. That what I can definitely see. And Republic blapper. That's a Shimakaze over there. Oh man, this could be actually dangerous. Very w uh, well paid. Um, the dispersion is fantastic. Yes. <coughs> well the enemy republic actually kind of played really darn good uh, on the other hand guys i don't think he ever will survive this engagement the yamatos has too good of an angle versus her yeah <laughs> did not even need to fire that republic Pay attention where he aimed. We aim much, much higher. But it was still not enough. Now I have no idea what the Montana's uh, uh, plan is. If he wants to go for a ram or... Okay. Oh, I understand. He was lucky as all hell because he would eat all those torps. Now he would avoid all those torps. 
On the other hand, you by avoiding that tor torpedoes, you're showing me too much of your side to the Yamato. <laughs> yeah, I don't know <laughs> which is the worst, the cooler or 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 the uh, what do you what do you, you you guys used to say? Uh, you're avoiding the torps, but then you show flat broadside <laughs> to Yamato. <laughs> yeah, well, 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 well. <clears throat> so guys, nothing crazy, 216,000 damage, but the most important, he has close to half of his HP pool left. <clears throat> Not very, <clears throat> unfortunately, <clears throat> sorry about this guys, uh, he had a little bit help from the um, uh, friendly CV and um, uh, Shimakaze, but uh, I do believe the the friendly Shimakaze did not do a whole lot in this uh, game. Right, so over there is the Marceau. We had to give a lot of tons of lead. All right. Oh man, he managed to. He knows how to aim this captain. He even if someone as fast as Marceau, which you know, but you need to do that because guys, your reload are so painfully slow. So. Um, gooder aiming you are, you better reward and more experience you will gain, and also more credits and everything else, guys. So, yeah. Now, what I find the uh, Yamato, it's very strong ship, especially at the late game, when um, the all enemy have kind of a slow um, and low HP pool. But you still have this whopping 60 something thousand, 64 thousand damage, and how the hell you deal? Uh, so, yeah, I do believe that um, there over there is the Yamato behind behind the the enemy CV. I don't know what in the god's name is that enemy Yamato's doing. Hmm. Very very questionable uh, position now of course guys this is uh, obvious uh, uh, one-sided right now for um, the any the friendly CV or the Shimakaze they need to spot the uh, Haku because Haku is still staying still because you know why even bother to move and that's of course a paddling you know he should know by now that someone's aiming at the CV and mm, yeah, sixteen thousand over there. Probably he has to move, man. I, I cannot understand when you are uh, spotted. Why you're not trying to move your ship? Stay in the same spot uh, from the get-go, from the start. It's probably not the best idea. The best idea for uh, you as a CV captain is to move your ship left and right. And and by moving, it's an increasing chance that you will survive. And at least do some kind of... A, your very best to make sure that you're not going easy in just a couple more seconds as f as soon as you're spotted so the enemy Yamato oh lord oh lord of those games guys they are wondering if the enemy team have ever played a tier 10 uh, ever ever played uh, any tier 10 uh, uh, match and, and games and I do believe this is goodbye Yamato Oh lord, that was too torpedo protection hit with lousy zero damage. Mm, but I do believe this shell will be at, of course, three over pen and goodbye, Yamato. And only Marceau left, and even Marceau got killed by the enemy. friendly CV or the Shima. I have no idea. But guys, there you have it 262,000 damage, three kills, eight citadels. And what it was pretty amazing about this game, ladies and gents, I can show you, um, um, uh, you know, uh, it's d definitely uh, the base experience. The base experience, guys, is 3,500 
57 base experience for this captain absolutely ridiculous and it was pretty one side so guys thanks guys for watching S stay tuned for more and all these captains fair seas and goodbye